Now, there's always a big cry in America for immigrants to learn English in order to be eligible for citizenship. Personally, I support this because no one understands the intricate bullshit that is the English language better than someone who had to learn it by the time they're 20. Really doubt me? Who crushed your kids' dreams at the last spell of you? That's right. It was Indian kids. Listen, after the immigrants claimed the English language as their own, the American public would demand for their language back, complete with y'alls, ain't, and yins. For anyone emigrating from another country, learning of this language is very crucial. So learning English is an important facet of integrating into American culture. But America isn't the only country joining in on the nationalist fun. England is on the same boat. Well, on the same boat, being, being in different boats is what made America, America. But the folks from England are, of course, speaking the Queen English, which is not to be confused by the English used in the popular band Queen Flakes. But it might mean that they think that they are better than you for speaking a much more royal version of the language. England actually has government-funded community learning facilities that are helping immigrants learn the language. Now, that's a way to ensure that all immigrants that come to your country don't bring their tainted language and complex conjugation rules into your culture. Look, America, I know that you have a special relationship with England, with them owning you, taxing you, and, and some sort of a Bush Blair reference that's supposed to exist here, but you are still using their language. Just because you took the letter U out of some words doesn't mean that you have a whole new language. But the real issue is helping immigrants assimilate into the culture by helping them learn the language. If you really want immigrants to learn English and assimilate into your culture, help them out. Teach them how to speak English by helping them read the classics like Fight Club, Slaughterhouse Five, and Hunter S. Thompson articles to help them understand really how the language is supposed to work. Take them to see movies like Ghostbusters that teaches you how pencil pushers are stupid and what not to answer when asked if you're a god. Wanting immigrants to learn the language doesn't come from a bad place. It's mainly so that we can talk to each other. I don't believe that redneck hicks are trying to be intolerant towards immigrants, but they just want to be able to talk to them, but just don't know how to. That way, when these foreigners go back to their own country, they can say, Listen guys, they aren't racist or bigoted idiots, they just don't know how to speak their own language. Thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Forkful of Noodles. Be sure to check out everything we do at ramennoodlescomedy.com. Be sure to subscribe to our video series on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Krishmohanhaha. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.